These people feel they've been left behind. They have no mobile coverage, no internet and barely usable landlines. So they've had to come up with another way to communicate. Come on. Oh, bugger, come on. Hi, Matilda. Can you get a message out for me? I've got no reception here. It's Matilda here. I can hear you, Lewis. Our phones aren't working either. I'll try and contact Jan and Bruce. Hi, Matilda. No, the phones aren't working here. So I'll see if John can get through. Yes, I've got a faint mobile signal. I'll ring them now. In 2022, this is how hundreds of people just one hour north of Sydney must communicate most days with walkie-talkies. It's a very old-fashioned way to communicate, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. They've gathered in the cafe at St Albans and they've had a gutful. I've been here for over half a century and it hasn't changed one cotton pick and bit. There's a lot going for this picturesque place and surrounding villages in the McDonald Valley. But there's one big thing going against it. It has crap communications. For months at a time, they have no communications. No mobile, no internet and poor landlines. And they could be out for, from hours through to weeks. Satellites and walkie-talkies doing bunny hops of communication until someone can get to the outside world. It's like Gilligan's Island here. Like Robinson Crusoe, it's primitive as can be. 400 people in this valley say they have been forgotten by the telcos and government. Today, telecommunications is a, is a basic right for every Australian. They do have landlines, but they are down more than up, and repairs can take forever. We have people up there that have not had their repairs completed after three months of hassling Telstra, begging for some sort of ETA or completion date. Leaving people with nothing except... In any case of emergencies, we have um, radios. So, so imagine being a kid help. here without no. mobile so or the internet. internet. Like I get a lot of my homework online so it's really hard to complete that. That's, cool house. that's, that's just that's one cool problem. Board. This is a region that is often hit by mother nature. You can't dial triple zero from one of these. You can't check the SES website. You can't check the RFS website. Oh Bruce the internet's not working again. No, it never ever is. Heaven help folk if there's a medical emergency. You don't have mobile phone and you don't have internet. Or a landline as well. You know, we have totally no communication. And It and was a stressful time for Jan when Bruce recently had a triple heart bypass. So it is an ongoing concern um, because things can happen. And the joy of a young bub comes with the worry that nothing goes wrong. Because we can't even ring out of the valley triple zero. Cafe owner Ed says the tourists are affected as much as locals. So if someone breaks down, if people are coming into the, the village, they, they suddenly look at their mobiles, they've got nothing. So they don't know where to go, they haven't got maps, access. Day tripper Chandan um, just turned up daughter, when Ed said happens. that. There was no communication. I was getting scared until I saw this place and then I was like, OK, I reached here. Siobhan and others are tired of begging Telstra and Optus for action. They just, they just tell us they're looking into it. Bear and are puzzled it. about millions of taxpayer dollars the government says it's spent that has resulted in nothing. We're very concerned about these grants that we've been supposedly awarded. Lewis, no phone, no internet here, yep. but you got around it somehow. Yeah, we've got the Starlink dish that you can see there. It That's doesn't look much, but it's quite effective. Oh, it's amazing. It's a game changer. We can, you know, as a business, we can now um, do Zoom calls. We can now stream TV. Oh. We can use mobile phones. What's it cost you all up? So it costs all up about six grand. Lewis Addy says the Elon Musk satellite can do what the useless NBN1 can't. It takes at least 10 seconds to load a web page. But few can afford it, and the monthly costs. Probably around $6,000. I've been paying taxes for a very long time. Shouldn't be happening. Most Australians would agree. It's like a third world country. That's what we feel like we are living in. Crazy, isn't it? The Minister for Communications says Optus is planning to build a new base station in the township, which should be complete by mid-next year. The residents aren't holding their breath. The full statement is on our website.